Medic 606, Medic 622, Engine 606, EMS 601, Respond, Channel 6, Bravo, Box 60600 for cardiac arrest, Debbie Nody Trail at Ashburn Road. Hi, I'm Assistant Rescue Chief Julius Horvath of the Ashburn Volunteer Fire and Rescue Department. We in Ashburn run approximately 7,000 calls per year. One of the most serious calls is sudden cardiac arrest, when the heart stops beating. With a few simple steps, you and others can help make a difference when seconds count. In this video, we're going to show you how to perform hands-only CPR and potentially save a life. Long County Fire Rescue, call to Cricket Hi, um, I think somebody's passed out on, on WNOD Trail by Ashburn Road. Is he awake? I, I don't think so. He's not moving. Is he breathing? I, I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. I'm sending the ambulance to help you now. Just stay on the line. I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay, thanks. He doesn't look too good. Okay, listen carefully, and I'll tell you exactly how to do chest compressions. Make sure he's flat on his back on the ground. Place the heel of your hand on the breastbone and the center of the chest right between the nipples. Uh, okay. Put your other hand on top of that hand. Okay. okay. Pump the chest hard and fast at least twice per second and two inches deep. Let the chest come up all the way between pumps. We're going to do this until help can take over. Count out loud One, so I can count two, with you. One, two, three, four. 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 Every year, more than 350,000 out of hospital cardiac arrests occur in the United States. As first responders, it's our job to do the best we can to improve the outcome and hopefully save a life. Anyone can perform life-saving CPR. Nearly 70% of cardiac arrests occur within the home. Though we want to help our family, friends, and neighbors, many are reluctant and don't know where to start. Currently, amidst the global COVID pandemic, most people are hesitant to do any kind of intervention particularly mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Today, we're gonna to show you the basics of something called hands-only CPR. Anyone can do it, and it only consists of two simple steps. First and foremost, call 911. It's important to alert dispatch so that they can send a team of first responders to help. Next, place your hands in the middle of the individual's chest and push hard and fast for at least 100 beats per minute. This action continues circulation of oxygen-containing blood to the brain and heart. It's easy to do and easy to remember. Just two steps. <laughs> 